Well, good morning, everyone. After years and years of negotiations, it seems we will not be getting a Brexit deal. Theresa May has fluffed the negotiations. Joining me now is Jacob rees -Mark. Jacob, do you believe, after years and years of Brexit headache, that we will no longer be leaving the EU? Well, Nigel, after years and years of Brexit negotiations, it would be most unconstitutional to go back on that promise that we made to leave the European Union. That means leaving the customs union, leaving the single market, and leaving the European free trade area, and all the associated things that come with that, including free movement of people. Now, I don't believe that we should have a referendum, as some parliamentarians have suggested. I believe that we should simply follow our constitutional right to vote in Parliament, and we will simply make a series of amendments in Parliament. Very well, but does that mean that we should have Theresa May resigning? She fluffed up the Brexit negotiations, she was a Remainer all along, should she resign? Well, joining me now is Shadow Home Secretary Diane Abbott. Diane! Jimmy! Jimmy is our leader. And uh, 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 we must, we, we must stick by our leader of the Conservative Party, of uh, uh, the Labour Party. And um, uh, um, um, we were win by about, uh, about 30 million votes. Joining me now is a random SMP person. I don't know if they're male or female, but who cares? We're in the bottom world and everybody has 63 genders now. Oh well. Well, Nigel, the people of Scotland voted to remain part of the UK given it was part of the European Union. We are no longer going to be part of that European Union. Therefore, I believe in Brit with Britain, the state that it is in now, that we should be allowed that second vote for independence. Now, I will be putting that forward on the table for the eventual Prime Minister. Scotland deserves to be an independent country, and we will be an independent country in the coming years. Well, joining me now is another of our future Prime Ministers, Boris Johnson. Boris, what is your take on the matter? Well, the Brexit, Brexit you know, as, um, as I was discombobulated, as it were, and we are no longer going to be uh, leaving the EU with the current Prime Minister that we have. So I will be putting forward in the coming weeks and uh, days, uh, days as it were, that we are, we are, I, 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 I will be the uh, Prime Minister uh, of, of, of Britain. Yes. Well, joining me now is Laura Koonsman, who works for the dreaded mainstream media, the BDC. Laura, what is your take on the matter? Well, Nigel, Theresa May put forward her suggestion for leaving the European Union. And that was rejected by Parliament again and again and again. It seems in the offices behind me, we will no longer be leaving the EU in Theresa May's terms. For some, it means we won't be leaving the EU at all. For others, it means we will on WTA rules and no deal Brexit. So it seems for now, I can get a smug face on and get no sleep reporting on this in my own biased way. Back to you, Hugh. You're listening to The Nigel Farage Show on LGBT Radio. Well, you've heard a number of impressions. Some of them probably quite shit, but otherwise, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button. I'll see you next time and subscribe. Thank you very much.